A group of talented young hopefuls try their luck for the casting of West Side Story, The Audition, a Willacy special event, 7.30 Sunday on 7. We're with you! Hello and thank you for joining us. Nice to see you again on State Affair. You know, today's been a funny old day in Perth. We started out with sort of strange weather and then it was very, very nice. A bit of blue sky and then down came the rains. So as far as the weather goes, about this time of year it's not very good. And as far as festivities go, there's not much going on. There are no big public holidays going on at the moment. But right up in the northwest of Western Australia, where the climate at this time of year is nothing short of glorious, a 10-day celebration has just begun. We sent reporter Tim Warner and cameraman Peter McCoskey to beautiful Broome to discover what it's all about. From every corner of Australia and from all over the world, thousands converge on Broome, more than 2,000 kilometres northwest of Perth. They come for the Shinju Matsuri, the festival of the pearl. They come for the atmosphere, a feeling spawned by 15,000 sun-seeking holiday makers jammed into a normally quiet coastal oasis. Cosmopolitan Mardi Gras type atmosphere, uh, anything goes, it's, it's a, a wonderful um, sun-seekers type holiday, it's a paradise, it's beautiful. What's the aim of the festival? In short, to bring dollars into, into Broome um, and show people the, the, the great lifestyle that is here. It's, it's wide open, it's a beautiful place to be and we just want to get that across. Does it work then? Do dollars come into Broome during this period? Massive, yeah. Lots and lots and lots of dollars. That's great. Where do the people come from? From all over the places, from Japan, America, uh, the rest of Australia, Europe, um, very, just, just all over the place. It's, it's publicised very much in America. Uh, from the people that come into the, uh, into the town, and talk to us and let us know where they've heard about it. It's usually from people that have been here, gone back to their home country and, and talked about it. And it's just getting bigger and bigger every year, so obviously it's, uh, it's, doing, it's going well. The essence of the festival has changed somewhat over the years. Once, luggers like this one and all manner of craft would fill the bay at Shinju time, something akin to our Anzac Day. Pearlers of nearly every nationality would come ashore and celebrate and remember their friends who had died carrying out their highly dangerous occupation. These days, the Shinju means dollars and lots of them to the Broome business community. It's not the boats in the bay, but the tents and caravans overflowing from the parks. See, that was the special time in the year to come in and celebrate, like to, to uh, their culture or whatever it is uh, from their own country, you know? Just like the Aboriginal people got their own sacred grounds and all this sort of thing, culture, uh, like we, uh, the, Fili uh, the Filipinos used to have their little parties and things like that. They were more religious people. And uh, the companions, they used to celebrate their own ways. And the Chinese and Japanese used to celebrate. Everyone had different, different, different nights during that week before we go out again. How did the Japanese celebrate? Old timers like Cassie Drummond well, don't begrudge the young people a good have, time uh, or the businessmen their dollars. They're, they're just saddened by the fading way. tradition. Like pity 
to see like uh, no more, no more the, uh, the people, uh, no more the people to do these things. It's more modern, but one thing I'll say is not enough the old people, like the old people are gone, like the old would guide them a bit more better. Cassie's sadness is perhaps matched only by the reveler's happiness. And even a crab that won't crawl, or a horse with a mind of its own, won't stop people having a good time. Tim Warner, sun soaker in the far north. And we'll be hearing more from Tim over the next few days. For example, the man who keeps a race horse Goanna in his backyard swimming pool, the perils of being a taxi driver in the outback, and the loneliness of the long distance lighthouse keeper. And a lot more ferreting he's been doing. I'll be back in a moment with the second part of Simon Reeves' report on the magic of micro eye surgery. If I didn't love them so much, I'd trade them in for something cleaner. Instead, I traded in my old-fashioned powders and liquids for extra strength care. I care for extra whiteness. I care for extra brightness. And I care for extra freshness. Extra strength care. Thick, strong, and yet so gentle on the things I love. Clothes come out extra white, bright and fresh every time. Change to care. Still priced like it's on special every week. If you're in the market for a four-cylinder car today, there's only one dealer who can give you the pick of the pack. And right now, his big factory bonus deals on Ford Meteor are irresistible. His bonus deals on Car of the Year Ford Telstar put you way in front. And the same special deals on the stunning TX5 make you a sure winner. But be quick. These pick of the pack bonus deals must end August 31st. See your Ford dealer now and save. Westral Sunshades, you're a star. At Westral Sunshades, we're busy making quality products for your home, like gold seal security doors and screens, available with mighty strong ampler mesh or decorative grills. Plus, we have a full range of aluminium and canvas awnings, including our new rollout patio awning. Our range goes on and on, and remember, we'll come to you with samples, give you a free quote, and show you how to save at our special factory prices. Tired of those ordinary food markets? Then try the fabulous Orient Food Feast, just down from Bowen's in Murray Street. Taste authentic Asian dishes like roast duck, barbecue pork, Chinese wontons, soup noodles, and many curries and Malay dishes. There's even Kentucky Fried for the kids. The Orient Food Feast is something different, with bright Chinese decor, table drink service, and Perth's best Asian food. The Orient Food Feast. Try us soon. Last night we showed you the first part of an amazingly simple operation which is restoring sight to the elderly and blind. We met 82 years old Mrs Lorna Collins who was going blind from cataracts in her eyes until she underwent a 45 minute operation to replace those cataracts with tiny pieces of Perspex lenses. Simon Reeve takes up the second part of this remarkable story. The air is to separate the cornea from the posterior capsule and make room for the intraocular lens which will now be inserted. The temporary stitches are now removed. In effect, this operation today is probably less traumatic than a visit to the dentist. Under the local anaesthetic, there is no pain and swift recovery. With the cataract having been removed, Mrs Collins is now ready for the insertion of her new lens. This is the intraocular lens, which is held firmly by the side. The forceps are specially designed so they do not scratch. The optic, which is made of polymethyl methacrylate, which is better known as Perspex. The Perspex, in fact, was found by accident during the Battle of Britain, when the pilots, who were badly burnt, also had Perspex from the windscreen shattered into their eye. It was discovered that Perspex had no adverse reaction with the body chemistry, and so the intraocular lens was born in the fury of battle. The loop that went in first has been tucked behind the iris, or the pupil of the eye, and now the superior loop, or the uppermost loop, which is just there, will now be tucked similarly behind the iris. Pusher. 
This is an instrument designed here in Perth. It hooks into the top loop so. The sheets glide, which has been gliding that lens in, is withdrawn. The pusher is inserted, rolled, tucked underneath the iris and withdrawn. The lens is now in place behind the iris. With the lens in place, the yeah. operation is almost complete. The <coughs> conjunctiva is stitched up again with the finest of sutures, while Mrs Collins listens contentedly to her Walkman. No problems? You haven't felt any problems? No, not at all. Not at all? No pain? No. Good. Wouldn't you wouldn't know a thing, eh? No. That's the girl. I've been in and so after just one hour just in theatre, the there, first of Mrs Collins' Good. cataracts is no what more. The operation has gone off without a hitch, and the patient is slowly brought out from the effects of the anaesthetic. These two sutures here, on the left and the right, will be removed t tomorrow. The conjunctiva itself sticks within six hours. The suture through the superior rectus muscle here is now removed and the operation is complete. The speculum is removed and the drapes and microscope are also removed. Good, here we are Mrs Collins. With the wonders of modern medicine, it's now less than one hour since Mrs. Collins was wheeled out of theatre. Already, she's on her way home. Well, um, how do you feel now, anyway? I feel very well indeed. Do you remember much of what happened in there? No, I had your phones on and I was hearing music most of the time, but I could hear Doctor um, say what he wanted in a very low voice. All righty, Mrs. Collins. Come in and have a seat, and we'll have a look at your eye. There we go. Right. Have you had any pain? None at all. Good. Hold still now. Now comes Take the big unveiling. Off. Two days after the operation, right. this is the there. result. How's that? Beautiful. I can see. Brilliant. OK. Just hold still. Well, the success rate is uh, around about 100%. There is always a small complication rate with any operation, in this case, less than 1%. L-H-T-O-C. As for Mrs Collins, she can barely wait to get back into hospital for her second operation. Most certainly. And as soon as ever, doctor can fit it in. So you would recommend other people to have it done as well if they had the same problem? Without a qualm. I've already been doing that. That's fabulous, isn't it? For ethical reasons, we're not allowed to publish the name of the doctor involved in that operation. That's one of the AMA rules of the trade. I'll be back in a moment with a top secret story. A new car without a new car price? Yes. You can make a huge saving on any of these new Toyota demos at Motorways Toyota Morley. You'll pay recommended price for this brand new 1984 Corolla, but here, you'll make a huge saving on this 1984 demo. This is a brand new Toyota Corona, but right here, you'll save bundles on this 1984 demonstration Corona. I have all types of new Toyota demos here, so hurry in for that perfect money-saving deal to Motorways Toyota Morley. Modern hairdressing salons and affordable prices is what you'll find at Aaron's Hair Stylists. Aaron's have professionally trained and friendly staff who'll help you choose the look that's right for you or style to your personal design. The whole range of hairdressing, from kids' cuts to tints and perms, is available. And Vita 5, L'Oreal and Schwarzkopf hair care products are stocked. With modern salons, professional staff and affordable prices, Aaron's Hair Stylists. There's a salon close to you. Don't you think Aaron should be doing your hair? Everyone loves beautiful curtains, and that's why I think everyone should call into Curtain World. And now at Curtain World, they'll make your curtains for one dollar a drop. Yes, your curtains made for one dollar a drop. Curtain World have a beautiful range of fabrics to choose from in prints or plans, just right for any window shape or size. And now at Curtain World, they'll make your curtains for only one dollar a drop. Call into Curtain World or phone now for a free quote. Curtain World, first floor, National Mutual Arcade, Perth. Michelin is the tyre that saves you money in the long run. Demand the best. Demand Michelin. I've got talent I can. 
can do it, and no rotten sod will give me a chance to do it on the stage. Up and up. Only the girl with the red shoes. It's an obstacle course of hope, strain, nerves, and rejection. <laughs> and where does the balance lie, and what are they looking for, and what have they seen? And it's something I've always wanted to do, a big role. And I've got my dream. The Audition, 7.30 Sunday on 7. Very silly, very funny movies are usually the work of very silly, very funny people. Take Top Secret, for example, the latest epic from the minds of the brothers Zucker, David and Jerry. With a name like Zucker, you've got to be good. You might remember their earlier productions, the Kentucky Fried movie in Flying High. Well, Top Secret opens this Friday, and if it's anything like the first two, don't watch it unless you're slightly round the twist. Trisha Duffield fits that bill. <laughs>